Hello, user testing community. It is Mike McDowell once again from the solutions consulting team here at user testing back with another tip of the week. Now it's getting towards the end of July, which as you all know, that means that a release has just come and gone. And there was something really exciting in the release that I want to talk to you about. And it has to do with our information architecture platform. You'll remember that a little while ago, we did our first integration with the information architecture platform. We brought the card sorting over from ia.usertesting.com over into the basic platform. So you can just use it as part of your test plans. Well, now I'm happy to announce that we've done our first iteration of bringing the tree testing over into the platform. So we're in our test plan builder in a basic unmoderated study. And you can see here all the normal instructions and all the task options that you would be accustomed to. But as I scroll down to the tasks and questions area, you'll now notice just like we have card sort and classic card sort, we now have classic tree test and tree test. For this, for this exercise, we're going to use the new tree test option. And you can see that it's brought in instruction text, add the tree for contributors to navigate, paste your tree here. But the way we're going to do it is we're going to do it via a spreadsheet. You can see there's a link right here. It says download an example spreadsheet. It's very simple. You can see the hierarchy is right over here and each column represents a step or a tier in your tree. So you just build this out exactly the way you need it. Then we're going to copy and paste this over into user testing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab everything here and I'm going to copy it. And through magic, we are going to go and paste it in user testing. Now look how simple that was. It's taken the columns and the hierarchy from the spreadsheet and has now converted it into an expandable and collapsible tree. And then we can go in and add tasks. And then we select answers for our tasks. So we're going to go ahead and say, um, let's just say, uh, find a smartphone by Apple. And then we're going to select an answer and it's going to let us go into devices. And I'll just say featured smartphones because I'm never seeing it there. So we go ahead and we hit save. And now we've got another answer. Now we can add another task, another task, another task. We can also delete the tree and we can restart over. The tree test results are here. You can actually see in one glance how good your tree test was. How successful were people at success selecting the correct answers? So we can see for task number one, no one successful. Task two, about 80%. Task three and four were 100% successful. And task five, 80% successful. You can have follow-up questions, in this case, a rating scale. Just like before, you can do lots of studies together. You can do mixed methods. You don't have to just do a tree test anymore, just like you don't have to do just a card sort. If you want to do a tree test and a card sort, all you have to do is come down here and click on card sort. And you're going to see that the card sort has been added. If we want to throw in some verbal responses or um, uh, rating scale questions, multiple choice questions, we'd stick all those things in around our tree test. But the great thing here is it's all here right in the user testing platform for you to use and you don't need to go to a third party. Now let's not forget about ia.usetesting.com because we still do have the classic versions of tree testing and card sorting, which may have some additional metrics and things that you are still looking for. But let's not also forget about the SUS Plus survey and the prioritization matrix, which also live at ia.usertesting.com. Those are extraordinarily valuable studies and we don't wanna forget about them. But for today, we were just talking about the integration first wave of tree testing into the platform proper here. I hope to see a lot more of you running tree tests in the future, having that information architecture, your navigation structures, much, much better on our customers' websites, mobile applications experiences. That's going to be it for now, but don't worry. I'll be back again in seven days with another user testing tip of the week.